Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video series, we're going to learn to use a Java image library called the Buffered Image. So we're going to do a variety of different things like that. There are other image libraries that are probably more easy to use and higher level that allow you to do more work with less code. So you could, for example, use OpenCV if you just need one that has built-in um, machine learning functions and uh, doesn't involve a lot of code. But I think the benefit of uh, learning to use images in the buffered image library is that you're going to learn to access pixels, to manipulate pixels, uh, and to basically write image filters is what we're going to do. Writing image filters from scratch and accessing individual pixels and editing those one by one. And we're going to see how these the data structures and the algorithms behind the scenes work. And then we may also get into some machine learning code as well. Um, so hang with me if you want to learn how to write your own image filters. It's going to be pretty cool. We're going to be able to convert filters to black and white, pixelate an image, uh, resize an image, a um, variety of things, brighten an image. Uh, so I'm going to have a series of videos that teaches you how to do all of that using the Java buffered image library. And I also wrote some code that does uh, license plate uh, recognition. So I may also make a couple of videos on that to show you how to implement license plate recognition. Now, as with all of my videos on my channel, I provide all the code downloadable on the link down below, which is my GitHub site. So, uh, GitHub slash Joey A. James. You can get all the code. You can download it. I strongly recommend that you download the code, play with it, and adjust some of the settings. Use some of your own images and play with the code and learn how to use it, make edits to it. And that's really how you're going to learn how to use the code and how, how to write your own code. So without, without further ado, let's dig into um, first just displaying an image, okay? Loading up an image from a file and displaying it on your screen. So that's what we'll do in this video. We'll be using uh, Sublime Text and I'll compile and run them just at a command prompt. Um, and I'm using a Mac computer, a MacBook, uh, just for your reference. We're going to use all of these imports for the whole series of videos, so I just put them all right up front. Uh, so you can just add all the imports uh, for all of the video series. We're not going to use all of these in the first video, but don't worry about that. We'll use them in, in the next videos. Um, so we'll create a public class called image filter. And then we're going to have a, the main function. And what should we put in the main function? Well, first let's load up an image file. So our image file, will uh, I have a photo, so we'll just load that photo. So we're using a file object, and we're going to call it file, the variable name. And it's, we're going to uh, load up this photo.png. And that's in the same folder that the um, Java code is running in. So I don't have a path here. If you put it in a different folder, you need to add a path before your file name. And then we're going to create a buffered image object. And we'll just call it img, keep it nice and short and simple. And right now it's going to be null. Now when we load an image, we need to use a try catch block. And that is because there could be an error loading up that image. If, for example, the file is not found or it's unreadable, Java is going to throw an exception. So we're going to put this inside of the try catch block. And what I like to do is just put inside the try block only where Java might throw the exception, which is in reading the file. So we use imageio.read to load that file and we're going to assign it to img, and then through the rest of the program we're going to use the img file, which is the, uh, the buffered image. And then if we catch an exception, we'll just print a stack trace. So this is a pretty simple try catch block with just loading the image is all we're doing inside of the try. And then we'll check and see, hey, did this, this uh, image, is it null still? If it's null, then, then we know that there was an exception and we're, we're going we're gonna to stop there. But if we, assuming we loaded the image successfully, we're going to display the image. We're going to write a function called display. And we're going to pass in this buffered image to it. So next, we're going to do this. We're going to write the display function. Before we can run this, we have to do that. So the display function will display, it will pop up a J panel, and it will display our image in it. So public static void, we're not going to return anything, we just want to pop up a, a J panel. And this is going to be using Swing Java, which you probably saw up here in our imports, Swing. 
that's the library, the most common used um, Java library for, for um, user interface, so Windows. So buffered image, image, that's what we're going to accept that we pass in. I'm going to use the same variable name inside my function here. And this is just a simple print statement saying, hey, we're going to display an image. That means we made a function call to, uh, to display. Next, we're going to create a JFrame and a JLabel. We instantiate two objects, a JFrame and a JLabel. For the frame, we need to set the size. We want to set the size to exactly the same size as our image that we passed in. So we do image.getWidth and image.getHeight. And we set the size for this frame. Now, if you wanted to add other things in there, let's say a, a caption or something under the image or any text or anything like that, you could make it bigger. Uh, but for me, I'm, I just made it the same size as the image. Okay, now we're going to um, attach our image to the label using an image icon. And then um, we need to add the label to the frame. So this is how we do that and, we, and I chose to use border layout center. There are different layouts that you can also try if you want to play around with swing. There are a number of different layouts you can play with. Border layout center just centers the image in the, in the J panel. And I usually put this in my uh, J frames uh, window um, exit on window close. So when you click to close that image window, it, it exits. And lastly, you need to pack the frame, which it attaches um, your image to the frame, and then set visible for the frame. And that's it. So now we have uh, basically a display image function written, and we're loading an image, passing it into that function, and printing it. So I'm going to save this, and then we can run it. Add the command prompt here. We'll compile my image filter.java file and hope this runs. Displaying image, and there's our image. Let me center it here. So you can see we have a J panel with our image that just popped right up there. So um, that's just a small start. I hope this was helpful for you. I think we're going to build a lot on this. I'm going to add in the next video, we'll learn how to convert that to a grayscale image. And then we're going to do a variety of other functions on it, um, edge, de edge detection and a number of other things. So tune into the future videos if you want to learn how to do all those other things in Java. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.